range check and back to porch. Okay, go ahead, zoom in. Hold that. Looks like the same uh, poly strap and paralink yeah. on top for us. See if this splice has tape on it. No. Looks good though. Yeah, it does. Okay. Let's Even check that hardware just under the under yeah. the buoy. What are, we, what are we gonna do with all these floats? Send them back to Germany? What are they gonna do with all these floats? Looks Flotilla. Orange. James and the giant underwater peach. Zoom in some more, please. It's good. That's a nice swivel. It's a nice sonar target. Yeah. It's like a rising yeah. sun. Happy AJ? Yeah, that looks great. Hardware looks all great. Okay, full wide again, please. Full yep. wide. We can come on down and do our unplugging. Roger. Coming down. Roger, on the way down. Yeah. The swivel was 1,500 euros. <laughs> Jeez. That's an expensive swivel.
40 meters to go. the hell uh, what's oh no we're good all right yep Okay, so we have that parking position on our porch. I think the first step will be to disconnect this morning and clear its Fletcher plate out of the base anchor. Can you put your mic closer to your mouth there? Just a little. How's that? Nope. Disconnect this, put it in the parking position? Yep. Roger. Need to come around it, don't we? Yes, sir. Mind you, this will rotate anyway. Right, I can just grab it and rotate it around a bit. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, that's that fine. just keeps us on the get out of geo free side. Sure. We can try. I'm not sure this anchor will rotate as nicely as the other ones did. Well, either the anchor will rotate or I will rotate the ROV. Okay. I am strong. Uh, there's that other one rotated really easily. You know, the one we did yesterday? Yeah. This maybe this won't. I can always go. I can go the other side. It'll be fine. It's all good. We can do the cut from here. You guys took it up there. Yep. <sighs> yes. What time is it? <laughs> Give me a half hour, and I'll switch out to refill my coffee and so on. Roger. Let me do the fun stuff, and then you can sit here. Yeah, you cut it. I'll do blue water. I don't think we're cutting anything yet. A little far away. As soon we're as that sun comes up, snip, snip. We're not cutting I yet. I thought we're not doing anything till 8.30. Our cut, well, we want, no, we want ROVs on deck at 8.30, so our cut time is 5.30. Roger. But if we have an hour, we might do a horizontal transect. Let's just get this buttoned up first. Horizontal or, vid or vertical? Horizontal. Horizontal. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Jeez. So demanding. Like they're paying us or something. Yeah. <coughs> That's actually not bad. I can come down like there and fly the horizontal transect. Current's coming this way. That would, yeah. Sure. Yeah, man. Fill your boots. Sweet. Trevor just has to go for a hour long break and sure. Keep it within the designated three centimeters of the altitude and you'll be fine. Three centimeters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Trevor actually left. Yeah, <laughs> you bullied him out. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what they're doing, but screw this, I'm out. <laughs> I'm surprised. Should be good there, yeah? Yeah. Perfect. Lovely. Sea pig. Is that an enemy on the other side? And then that's some fluffy looking yeah. monkey fist. Something like that. Or a Nidarian. Nidarian. 
some sort. Let's see if we can set a lot. Roger. Yeah, I'm gonna take a bunch of your flow, so you might need a whole lot of down on. Yeah. I'll give you another meter or two. Okay. Oh, I need to put the jaw again all the way up. Other up. There we go. See how you get on with that. Oh yeah, it'll be great. Yep. Man, I think jerks alive. <coughs> nice. Shwing. Easy peasy. You got enough to twist it, or am oh, I yeah. sat on it, no, stopping it? I, you I good? Got it, yeah. You know how strong these keys are. <laughs> yeah, well, we know how strong they are now, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> Click. What am I doing with this, AJ? We're gonna take it somewhere? No, we're just gonna ditch it. Oh. Don't grab that. Is that running away? No, we, we're good. Did you, you saw the tines going? Oh yeah, that clicked yeah. in for sure. Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> okay, Josh, come on now. Let's not be stubborn. If you, mm. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking to make it easier. It might be easier to keep this in the craft and just get it kind of away from our landing zone just a, a little bit, as opposed to just kicking it down. I just don't know how buried that PBOF is. Looks yeah. pretty light. Yeah, if you can put it as far as you can reach out to the right. Yeah, sure. I'll just go way out to the right. Yeah, way out to the right. Beauty. I have another view of that somewhere. Oh, and the... And not what? Now we wait? Uh, no, I'm not sure. I think he has a. We have oh. to unplug the other one? Or is it already unplugged? What's next, AJ? Sorry, sorry. We're going to clear uh, this Fletcher plate out of the anchor. Roger, the little string so, on top? Yeah, you can pull that rope right up and out. Okay. Do I need to come closer for you? Are you uh, all right? Nope, I'm good. But AJ, what are we doing with the f with it after we pull it out? So we're gonna let it hang. Let it hang. Yeah. So. Oh, when, it's on when a we rope. release the mooring. It's connected to the mooring via a I cable. I see. Okay. So I don't need I don't need to grab it a specific way. I just need to take it out. We just want to make sure it's clear of the anchor assembly so it doesn't catch. Can you a little tilt up, please, Dave. Yes. Okay, so you want me to place this like out here somewhere? Yeah, out behind would be great. So it doesn't get in the way of the hydraulic cutter if it can, it can drag a little. Yeah, That's I like that. It's gonna get. Yeah. yeah, I think we've got time for a horizontal transect because otherwise we're in. Oh, let's clip the USBL beacon first. Okay, where's that? That's going bottom? up mid water. Should be in the bio just box. We'll just we'll clip it. It'll be yeah, uh, on that structure just above us. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Can we tilt up? Just oh. a sec. Uh, yeah, I want to see the structure above. I'll, I I'll have to fly up. It definitely a fly? Yeah. It's we a couple meters. We can't clip it anywhere there? Uh, it's we get could, in the way yeah. Of the color, we... cutter. It's still too high, I think. It... Oh, are you, is that a challenge? Do I don't want it to be dangling 
in the way of the cutter if we're looking because okay. we're going to want to cut not right at the ferrule so okay. no we, problem i think no it's problem. safer to just we'll, we'll, clip it yeah, up higher roger that makes sense and that's in the toolbox or the starboard it's, i think it it's likely in the starboard yeah it makes sense i guess uh, let's come on all that how about i got it Oh, okay. Sample tray. Yeah. I don't know where the cutter is. Is that on the porch? Yeah. All right. Now, do we have the other? There's the bacon. Camera. Okay. I'm just going to switch the cameras. Um. Oh. That's a clip there, right? Yeah, that's what I'm grabbing. Yeah, it should have a carabiner on it. Roger. Oh, I guess I lose that camera when I do this. There I am. Whatever, I'll just re grab it after I Yeah, we set it on the porch. Got loads of room, can even push the porch out for you. Nav, do you have a note of which beacon this is? Yeah, I do. It's one way to do uh, it. 2406. Okay, great. I'm going to change these cameras back. Let's try it in the mud. Let's not do that. Okay, closed. What's up? Hang on. All right. Yeah, where porch used to be says knife retract and knife cup. <sighs> yeah, not, porch doesn't work, I don't think. Yeah. Okay. You should have enough room on it anyway. Oh, yeah. Can you come right, please, Dave? You can also use the train wheel as a little bench, a little yeah. workbench. Okay. We will come to you. Come into the porch, yeah? Um. Don't hit the sea pig. Yeah, that's nice. Yes, sir, to the porch. Thank you. Oh, there's the cutter. Beefy what? boy. Just. Nav, if I give you out long coordinates for the um, start and end of a video survey, could you add them to HiPack? Sure. Do you want to give me those now? Yeah. Okay. Um, Papa. No. Papa. It's going to be three coordinates because there's a kind of a turn in the middle. Okay, uh -huh. just a second. Sure. We'll do 14. Oh, 
Okay, I'm ready for your first one. All right, uh, latitude 47 decimal 75648. 75648. Yeah, and this might just be our position because that's the start of the survey, but we'll put it in. Okay. And then longitude negative 127 decimal 73298. 73298? Yep. Yeah, yeah okay. I'm just going to make a big mess, but. It's okay, we got to take off, so I'll just back away and clear up. Yeah, Understand so that's pretty close by. to where we are, yeah? Yeah. And okay, great. So I'll give you the second uh -oh. waypoint. Okay. Yeah, that button's getting. Longitude 47 decimal 75813. Yeah. Okay. So I'll put the Longitude there, and you can center, do whatever it is. Negative 127. I guess like that. Dave, for now, I'll have to decimal reach out a bit. Decimal 73919. But I'm happy. Decimal 73919. Makes me yeah. happy. It makes me happy that that makes you happy. That, okay. that should be too much. I can't. Okay. straight west. Okay, the first happy. one. Okay. And then I have a third one for you. Okay. Go clip this on, AJ? Yeah, we can fly up and look for an appropriate position. Roger. We will be watching the Telestrator. All right. Um, okay, go ahead with your third position. Yeah, 4775821. 75821. A lot of mud. Yeah. Okay. And then longitude. Uh, 127 decimal 74586. Cool. 74586? Yeah. Okay. Where's the spot here? Higher up yet. Roger. So it should look like a jog to the northwest and then to the Ooh. west. Okay. This is a wee bit different to, to the one. Right. See where the corner's going to come up up here? Okay. Yep. See him. I say keep going up. There's going to be a cross member. Okay. Keep going up. And we don't really need the beacon smashing against the the junction box the whole way. Yeah. I'm just going to come back around to the yeah. Good idea. safe side anyway. So hopefully it lets a lot of that dust just blow out. Nav, can you measure the distance of that survey? On it. Thank you. Are they, are they a kilometer? Oh. Is there another? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Just above there, that. I'm going to reach out when you're ready, Dave. Yeah, I'm coming in now. I'm yeah, it looks like a kilometer. You're good to go. Yeah, you're good to go. Great job. Yeah. I'm going to let go. Well done. Nice. Now we leave in a cloud of smoke. Poof. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. There's the amount of sediment in the bottom of this vehicle right now. <laughs> okay, arms off. I love it. Okay, we're going to go do a benthic video survey. If we do a speed of one to one and a half, or what, if we do half a knot speed, and it's one kilometer, it will take us an hour an hour and a bit, and then we have to come back and pop this thing by 6.30, 4.47, We have to transit back. I know, but none of those leave from here. Where where am I going to oh, start yeah, this line? Oh, yeah, that's true. 13. Uh, we're going to do it from the mooring, so you don't have to go anywhere. Oh, I've just backed away. Do, do we need to see the mooring for to start it? Or no, no, we have a we have a nav point very close to the mooring. Um, nav, I lied to you, and I'm going to put in another survey that's going to take us a little less time to do. Okay. So the same starting point, okay. but I have a new second waypoint. All right, stand by. And it takes us to the north, which is clear of any any mooring. So you just open the sonar range up a wee bit, please. Yes. 
We're going to do 13 instead, because it'll be a lot quicker for us to get back from. OK, go ahead. Go. So oh, negative, or sorry, 47 decimal 76033. 76033. And negative 127 decimal 72924. What is it? Oh, sorry, the range. And we, yeah. can, we can start that leg, and I'll give you the next leg while we're, while we're traveling. So it'll meters. go from here. Uh, or from the, the start of the last one. That's what was, I think you labeled it transect A. Yep. So we'll go from transect A to that point I just gave you, and it should be to the northeast of us. Okay. What height, what altitude are we doing this at? So we're going to do it between one and one and a half meters as best you can, Dave. Yep. And we're going to go at half a knot. Do you mind filling that up if you're making a pot? Just stick some honey, a good good dose of honey in it. Okay, it looks about 500 meters away. Yep, and that's right. Um, zero three zero ish. I'll pop down a sec. I'm good. Where do I go to change this to make sure it goes to auto alt? Auto yeah. XY page. Yeah, got it. Thanks. Yeah, the back row lettuce and tomato. It's just lettuce and tomato. There's no bread. And that now works here. Or bacon. Yes. Yeah. No bagel. No, no bee. Okay. No rush, Lynette. Whenever you're ready, just give me a heading. Yeah, we're going to be going 030. Okay. Um, you ready for a ship move? You can get the ship moving, yeah. Okay. And I'll spin around. I've completely lost the plot on what's happening, so... If you Bridge need anything from me, you're just going to have to ask for it right now. We're just doing a horizontal Good morning. Can we move 50 meters, 0, okay. 030, zero, please? Thank you. Lynette, is that just setting up for the start of the survey, and then we'll have them move the same speed as us? Is that how we do these? Um, yeah, we're just getting the boat moving. All right, I'm coming down now. Okay. So once we start seeing Atalanta move, then we'll start the survey. Is that the idea? Yeah, I think we want uh, Hercules to be out front. Um, Why? So we're going to... No. What do you got? Give them a chance um, Auto, to get out in front of Atalanta. You were at five meters okay. set point. Where's the set point? Right now it's not an auto out, so the goal is moving. Yeah, I've taken it out, yeah. But if you are in auto altitude, if you use the verts, it'll change your set point. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> what depth do we want to be at for this? 1.5. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. At a speed of half a knot. Okay. Right. So what's it got my set point at now? 1.44. Okay. We'll just let it settle, see what it does, yeah? Once you're set up, Dave, I'll, I'll uh, read the lighting instructions. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. 
this. So have you got to keep the ship going in 50 meter increments or can you give it 500 meters? Um, they usually prefer shorter moves, so I'll just keep calling in okay. moves. Um, do you want to get out in front of Atalanta or? I probably will get in front of it really okay. quickly. Okay. All right. So once I see it start to move, mm -hmm. I'll start and move off. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Are we ready for yep. lighting instructions? Yeah. Yes. So the instructions are to zoom in the camera to remove the horizon or the portion of the field of view, which is poorly illuminated at the top and parts of the ROV. Make note of the zoom that is set lasers on, which we have. And then we'll just clearly communicate the start and the end of the survey. What kind of angle? Audio. Um, it doesn't say. I think as long as, as once you remove that sort of that lighting from the top and the the porch from the bottom, that'll sort of dictate our angle. I think. Okay. You see, Trevor, just like the the discrepancy between the lighting up here. Hold on a sec. Hey, Dave. When you as soon as you let go of the verts, it'll take your current altitude as your set point. Oh. Okay. So you're not adjusting your set point by doing that. You're just applying verts, and then when you let go, it holds you where you are. Right. So you can't bump it. Correct. In effect, you can right. do steps. So on the on this Auto XY page, if you press the button button, ah, uh, then I'll just do it for you. Then you can do step downs in increments of. Okay. Well, let's say point one for instance. That's just set it for you. So now you can do step down to adjust your set point. Okay. Okay. Right. Go ahead go ahead again, AJ. Yeah, I think the I think as long as once we get the angle down so that we're no longer seeing this kind of discrepancy in the lighting, that'll sort of dictate our angle, our our video angle. Our zoom. Yeah. Okay. We'll let Bridge that get settled map. then. We can adjust camera angle and finally zoom in. Um, can we increase speed to 0 0.5 knots, please? Thank you. don't want down light, I would guess, but I don't know. Is that any better? Also, your camera's racked really in, just so you know. We'll push it all the way out, see what we get. If you, can, if you tilt down, does it look a little better? Or do you get porch right away? If you're looking down, you're not getting what's coming into the camera. You see what I mean? Yeah. So you need to be, the camera needs to be looking as close to horizontal as we can. Are we doing a, a looking at the seafloor thing? It's a benthic, yeah. It could be seafloor. Right. Okay. I think Atlanta's starting to move now. I'm seeing the tether get yeah. a little tight. So when you're ready, Dave. Yep, on the move. All right. So we'll start the survey. Are survey we happy with start. zoom and everything? Is there anywhere I can see my speed over the ground? No. Can you tell me what my speed over the ground is? You can so, do an auto XY step and set your velocity. If I put stick hold on, does that override the auto alt? If you put what hold on? Stick hold. Stick hold does not, it doesn't affect this. Okay. Your verts will not be affected. You're still in auto alt. All right, Lynette, I could give you that second data point that's going to kind of give us a bit of a, a turn to do halfway. Do you want to do a DVL reset before we keep going on this, Okay, stand by. 
All right, go for it. Uh, that's me you're talking to? Uh, yes. Um, yeah, 47 decimal 75652. 75652? Yep. And negative 127 decimal 72571. 72571. Okay. And then can I see what that path looks like? Yep. Stand by. Yeah. Bridge, <coughs> nav. Can we move uh, 100 meters, 035, please? Thank you. Yeah, that makes sense to me. It's going to look like a northeast and then a southeast. Yeah. Then as soon as you can, we'd like that DPL reset. Sure. So we have a proper spot for the video survey. Do we have a speed over ground readout? No. We have ship speed over ground. Yeah, I can see that on high pack, actually. So just so we're all aware, we'll do this for 500 meters to the northeast, and then there will be a new heading for us to do another 500 meters to the southeast. Okay. And I believe the new heading is 147, but Nav can confirm that with her coordinates. Yep, 147. All right. Quite particular. Is that a random heading, AJ? A special it is, heading? Yeah. yeah. How did you pick it? Uh, I, I did it. We have like a table of random video transects here that were pre-generated so that we could just choose one and go. We didn't have to like sit here with our own random number generator. Mm. I like this system a lot better. I think it used to just be pick a heading and it was always a little awkward. This way we can choose one that kind of works best for us and is still considered random. Oh, I see. You have a couple of options, and you choose the one that's closest to ops, but is still that's right. earlier that's still randomly random. generated. Yeah. Semi-random. Cool. I'm going to step out for a sec, so direct your questions to Steph and Sean. Hey, Steph and Sean. Where's uh, AJ going? He's stepping out. He didn't give know. us that information. No. Mm -hmm. Bio break. Oh, bio break. That must be nice. <laughs> Do you need one, Sean? <laughs> no, it's okay. I'll wait a while. I can sub in for you, too. Yeah, there's not a whole lot that I'm doing right now. I just got to capture the start and stops. What speed have you got the ship moving at? Point 0.5. Probably speed them up a bit. Yeah. Just going to take them up to point 0.6 because we're pulling away. Okay. How fast do they want the survey at? Survey point at five. Point 5. Okay, then we should slow down. I don't think we can go much slower. This certainly isn't point 0.5 over the ground. 
You don't think so? Nope. I can slow down. This is slower over the ground than 0.5. Yeah, might be yeah. because Adelant is getting s slowly pulled back. All right, you want me to Leave squeeze it? Leave it as it is for now, Okay. We'll come in swinging later. It's funny there's no speed readout, eh? Yeah, it's weird. Is there normally? Well, depending depends on, what on you the mean operation. By depends on the, what you mean as normal. Yeah. This system does not have a speed readout. I see. But we can kind of roughly, crudely interpret it through target times. Yeah. Bridge nap. Can we have another one hundred meters zero three five, please? Thank you. Probably not a bad idea to speed up. You want me to speed up? Yeah. Point seven. Yeah, I'll do. Bridge nav. Can we increase speed to 0 0.7, please? Thank you. Yeah, heading change is OK. Thanks. I'm giving you everything I got with this delta here. Yeah. Coming no worries. way low. See if we can leave some Atlanta drag marks. Oops, too much. I'll reduce my speed a wee bit more. as low as I want to go. Maybe a little bit more, but not much. That's okay. I'm not that far ahead of you. Fish, rat tail, I'm guessing. Rat tail's right. I wasn't, I uh, was like kind of a guess. I like used all the knowledge that I've gained on this expedition. Nice. To 
identify what we're looking at. Great. Is that a sea star? Something like that. Brittle star, like I a think. Brittle star. Brittle star. Brittle. A, a bunch of cucumbers. cucumbers. Cucumba. What is that flat looking thing? Sea cucumber. He's just buried himself for some reason. <laughs> Alright, that's into your leash there. Are these little line things like their poop? Pretty much. Cold. Yeah, they they suck up the sediment and uh, just kind of digest all this little organic bits out of it. That was two fishes off to the right. Rat tails. Do we just spin, or do you want to slow down? If I slow any more, I think I'm going to stop. <laughs> but I don't really have a choice. Just a favor. Just yeah. bump the auto depth set point down another point two. Sounds good. Uh, point two. There you Cheers. Are. <coughs> Bridge nav. Can we have another uh, one hundred meters zero three five, please? Thank you. Take your gauges here. Ages now. It's a very albino looking one. Albino looking rat tailfish? Yeah. Probably not actually albino, just very light. Itty bitty jellyfish. These flat sea cucumbers are interesting. They're more interesting than when they swim. I wish I wrote down a name of the fishes and like could make a tally. You could count the annotations that mm, our team could. is making on shore. Yep. It's their job to do the counting. <laughs> Sean, you were saying we normally see a lot of sea pigs? Yeah, well, I just have memories of it was either here or another very deep water spot. Um, it's going backwards. In March, it was in March sometime, and there were just armies of sea pigs everywhere. Um, so you know we've seen a few today, but uh, obviously not as many as 
there were back then. So yeah, there must have been some kind of uh, like seasonal event, bring them all together. It's probably to do with like a, uh, some kind of mating um, call, call of nature. Mm. Yeah, ocean systems are surprisingly attuned to just, you know, <coughs> seasonalities, um, like very specific things. Like there are examples of ocean ecosystems, like paying attention to like, I don't know, the first full moon of the summer, like after the summer uh, solstice or something like that. And that's when they, you know, uh, spread their gametes. It's very, uh, yeah, season seasonality dependent. Bridge nav. Can we have five zero meters zero two five, please? Thank you. Um, yeah, point seven. Thank you. Yeah, I got that like minus 20 or something. Jake must be deaf, mate, because when I come on here, everything was blaring. Like so really, really loud. The last, uh, the last bridge person, it talks with their mic over here. Mm. So there's that. And also different headsets are different too. Mine's really a loud one, so I have to turn everything way down. Yeah. I don't know. There's a spider crab. I think. Yeah. Ocean Daddy Long Lead. See.
Is that our last move, Lynette? How many more do we got? Yeah, last move. Nice. Yeah. Of that section, anyway. And we go over another random heading? Yeah. How far, how long has the ROV got to run? Mm. Before it finishes? Well, probably like. 250, 300 meters. Yeah, okay. 250 meters. Ish. Aren't we supposed to be cutting this at 5.30? Yep. Kay. I think he said no later than 6.30. Roger. Yeah, 5.30 wouldn't make a lot of sense. Okay. Hmm? Was the question when we should be finished? Uh, yeah, yeah. Like AJ, before you went out, said something like no later than 6.30, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's one of those... Um, Very large... Tailed echinoderms. Tailed echinoderms. Are they cucumbers? Sea yeah, cucumbers? they're sea cucumbers. I just forget the name. Wow. Sea log. Tailed what? Oh, it's like, it's a sea cucumber. It just has a big tail, like a tail fin. That was wild. Today, we finished a mooring survey, survey of a mooring. Um, right now, we are doing a transect, a horizontal transect. Which is also a survey. Also yeah. survey. We did two vertical surveys going down the water column. Mm. It's a lot of surveys today. Oh, well, they did a vertical transect, eh? Two of them. Yeah, from, oh, the, from the first bottom. thousand and then the bottom thousand, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. learn them indeed. Blue water. You want to know all about it? Uh-uh. Mm, Don't no. know enough of them. <laughs> I bet they saw some ocean. Bit of water. Stuff in it. Maybe, yeah, there could have been some stuff. Good point. Yeah. Sea snow. Some things. Some arrow worms. Shrimps. Another daddy long leg at the ocean floor. Uh, this one? I think that's a brittle star. Brittle star. And then once we're done with this, or at 5.30ish, at some point this morning, we're going to return to the mooring, release the Kraken. Not the Kraken. We're just going to release the the mooring so that it may surface. I'm gonna do one more short little move. 50 okay. meters. Yeah. Bridge, nav. Can we move five zero meters, zero two five, please? Thank you. There's weird little alien dudes up in there. Never seen them before. One on each end of the light. Oh, yeah. Reduce the speed down to 0.5 though. See the yeah. way we're catching it. We, it's caught up now. It's nice and parallel. Bridge now. We can bring speed down to 0 0.5. Thank you. Ooh, what is that? Is that a sponge? A sea anemone? What an could enemy. you be? Yeah, it looks like an anemone an of some sort.
to do so. I don't like how the time on this computer doesn't line up with our UTC time. It's four minutes behind. Four minutes You're ahead. Right. Oh, ahead, yeah. This Terrible. Uh, is it on a virtual machine? Like, do you have to log into it and it takes you to a new screen or something like that? Or is um, it just connected to this com this whole system? I think it's connected to the system. Uh, in theory, you should be able to just sync the time zone by going into the settings. Sounds like a Justin thing. I was going to say, that sounds like something. Like a Justin thing. If mm -hmm. I tried to do it myself, Justin would look at me with big eyes and be like. <laughs> yeah, even if anyone else knew how, it's still a Justin thing. The ocean centipede. These things? Yeah. <laughs> I want to see a chicken eat a centipede. Why? A what? Because it'll make me happy. Chicken to eat? Because Wait, in my what? yard we have chickens sometimes and a whole lot of centipedes. So and it's like so sad. Oh. Even the egret birds eat centipedes. Oh. oh my god, seeing it go p so close to the screen, kind of, yeah. They're not centipedes, don't worry. Thank you. Hey, Another what's this tail? guy? Ooh. Hello, rat tail. I'm gonna scare him. We're here, don't get scared. Act We're just natural. taking a survey. Act natural. You know these like kind of like divots in the ground and then like the mountain behind it? Yeah. You know what that's from? I have a guess. I have a theory as to what it's from. Let's hear it. Those tailed sea cucumbers when they eat and then when they poop they make that big mountain of <laughs> sand behind them <laughs> Maybe. they don't leave a little string they leave a big dump either because mm -hmm. yeah. their okay. tail goes up so when it shoots out it just like <laughs> <laughs> the summer spider crab yeah that is a deep sea spider crab if I've ever seen one Yeah, I don't know what this mounding um, phenomena is. Must be some animal doing it. There's this awesome feature on our website that um, our viewers can view where it shows us the ROV Hercules depth and the Atalanta depth. Also water temperature ship heading, wind speed, and wind angle. I don't know what the difference... Oh, okay, never mind. I know what the difference is now. I was like, what's the difference between speed and angle? I'm like, never mind. <laughs> That's a side effect of waking up at 3.30 in the morning. Definitely. Yep. Oh, what's that? That's different. That is oh, it's not different. a rat tail. That's not a rat tail. Hello. But we're on a transect, so we can't stop. I know. What is that? Yeah, don't That's know. Like big fish. Uh, oh, we saw that maybe I know, yeah. I feel like we I talked about that fish a while ago, like three days ago. Yeah. yeah. And I since then, I forgot. Sponge.
How much farther we got there, Lynette? 140 meters. 140 meters, roger. Here comes Coffee Man. Yay! What an absolute disaster. Oh, did you flood the place? I don't want to talk about it. Oh dear. Traumatized. <laughs> you know me so well. Want some? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. We'll share. It's fine. We'll share. Oh. Yeah, this is mostly crumbs. Yeah. Should maybe snort them, that'll be quite funny. turn my heading away from her so that I don't start pulling you uh -huh. as we veer off. See ya! <coughs> Can't believe you didn't bring peanut butter up to go with these. Well, it'll do for this bit though, before Ed finds it. Okay, you have about 100 meters left. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking when there's about 50 meters left, I'll start moving the ship to the southeast for the new transect. Yes. Reasonable. That'll work. Okay. She's starting to run away from us. Yeah, it's going well. Oh no. Because you have to fill the water with 
you can't fill the water in with the coffee machine, the jug. It has to be with something else. Do you guys fill the coffee maker with water out of the coffee pot? No, that's a recipe for disaster. Yeah. You gotta use the you gotta use the clear tub. But so what was the source of the disaster this time? I think there were two sources. One was that I think the pot was closed. So it wasn't the coffee that was coming in was just hitting the top of the pot and overflowing. You can close the pot? No. You can't. Or it got jammed. Maybe it got jammed. What? I think it can close. But it was I've not had that happen draining. Once. Yeah. The other problem the nozzle out can close, but the nozzle the the hole in through the top can't be closed. Okay, so then it got jammed, but that could be because there were a ton of coffee grinds in it. And we're not sure why that happened. I yeah. tried to ration the water in slowly, but maybe I didn't do it slowly enough. Hey, you don't or want coffee grounds filters. in your drinky coffee. I'm not sure that the filters that we do have, the new small ones, can handle three scoops. Mm. So we we cleaned up and we <coughs> redid with two scoops. And I just made a fresh pot <coughs> if you want to go get. Nice. Sweet. Thank you. You're going to be a master at making this coffee by the end of the trip. Well, no, because then they're just going to change the filters on me. And it's going to mess everything up again. Yeah, the filters are too wee right now. They yeah. were too big before. Yep. Average it out. Get the scissors out, start cutting the filters down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dexter got really good at uh, fitting filters into things that were too small, so... Bridge nav. Can we move five zero meters one four five, please? Thank you. Okay, so we're getting close to the end of this transect. Um, I'm starting to move the ship on the next heading. Wonderful, thank Ferry. you. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, I can sure. see the shift already moving southeast. Yeah. This might be a harder direction to get the ship up to speed because we're moving pretty much totally laterally, but we'll see. Totally laterally. Totally. Awesome. Great. I've been lateraling Atlanta towards you for the last 15 minutes. Yeah, she's running away. I going, yeah. it's going, yeah, northwest. So, I'm trying to bring it southeast. It's not very effective, but you know, here we are. Bridge nav. Is it possible to increase speed to 0.7 on this bearing? Okay, thank you. Time to wake everybody up. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Exercise the bow thruster. Poor Dan. <laughs> it's like sleeping, cuddled up against the bow thruster, I think is where his room is. Yeah? Yeah. One thing I have found is, like, even where I'm at, which is just after where Dan is, really, mm -hmm. it's really quiet. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, it was a lot louder before with the old engine. But with this, it's not bad. How much further we got on the ROV distance? Oh, you're there. Are we? Yeah. Nice. Right, that's right. End of transect. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to swing me heading around to 147. I'll give you a shout when we're stable and we're starting. Coffee, thank you. Coffee. Bridge nav. Can I'm we have 100 too. meters 150, please? Thank you. I'm going to start this off real slow, just let it catch up. Yeah, absolutely. Can we please get a DVL reset? Thank you. Yep. Whoa, what lives in that hole? Oh, good one. not moving yet are you um not yet no okay it's too soon yeah good stuff i'd quite like to see what way she's going to settle out first totally Go ahead, Bridge. Okay. Cancel. Mm -hmm. Bridge was calling and said, never mind. Nothing. See if I can look over at you. So have we started? No. No. Got to wait on that Atlanta catching up, mate. Okay. All right. I got you. I'm yeah. super low delta and uh, super stretched out. Yeah. I'll call it once we start moving. Thanks. I don't know if Atalanta's going to make it any further east. I mean, aside from as we go along the line, but... Yeah. I can always come across. Yeah, let's watch. That might be best. Yeah, it's looking pretty stable right there. It's funny that the black line on ROV nav is tied off the ship's center when DP is referenced about the A-frame. Yeah.
Yeah, this is also how it is in high pack. Yeah, totally. For the position. I wonder how it picks it. Could you only rotate the vessel around the A-frame? Yes. But your reference is still from wherever the pole is? Yeah, pole's not there either. Yeah, then that's wrong. Yeah. It might be the GPS. Yeah, I the think GPS that's is. the location of the GPS. Yeah, it could be. Or at least what we reference it to. What's the bearing of this next uh, transect? 147? Uh, yeah, 150-ish. Okay. 147. Oh, he I think specifically one four said 147. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm on 147.06. Well, right. Okay. It's true. It has to be random. So it has to be exactly. <laughs> exactly random. Exactly yeah. random. Exactly. Exactly random. Wow. Lots of sea pigs on the move. Don't see that often. Whoa. A flotilla. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Cucumbers. Sea cukes. Just starting to see a little bit of movement now. Yep. I'll let her come up somewhere close to me and then I'll start moving. Sounds good. Medusa! I wonder how they like take off from there, from the ocean floor. Because I feel like they're just like drifting with the current at this point, not really like swimming. Mm. They're swimming, I think. The Atalanta looks to be on the move, eh? Yep, Atalanta has started moving. All right, let us know when we're starting the transect. We will, Roger. We will in a sec, yeah. All right, thanks. They're awfully noisy Alrighty. returns though, huh? Mm-hmm. Almost on top of you now. Whoa. Yep. That yeah, the battle thrusts are going. Just on the, the way. Uh, the USBL goes for a goes for a mess. The black portion of its body is like moving up and down. Okay, I'm on top of you now. You yeah, try I'm swimming with no hands or legs. Speed. Yep, Sorry. Right that. No doubt about it. Say the word, Dave, when they can mark their start time. Yep. Yep. Let's see how we go. Bridge now. Can we have another one hundred meters one five zero? Thank you. Okay, guys, let's start a transect. All right. All right. Roger, thank you. It's a bit fast. Here's another hot tip, is if you're too fast on the stick lock, you can slow it down by not, without hitting the stick lock button, by just dialing back your gain. Ooh. But you can't increase it if you're gained at 100. Yeah. So it's a gotcha tip. Yeah, it's not a smart stick lock. It literally just reads the stick position and holds her there. Yeah. It's, it's kind of funny. There's a real bug on that one. You know how you were pulling the joystick, it'll change your set point on yeah. auto? If you have it just slightly pulled, and then you hit stick lock, your set point will run away. Because it treats the joystick as being pulled, right? Yeah. So your set point's gone. And it'll just keep going <laughs> up. And it's, yeah. it's wild. SMD had a similar issue. With the longer you hold to change the set point. Yeah. 
the faster it changes. Oh, neat. Which sounds good in and theory until you use it. Uh, yeah, until you actually <laughs> do it. Yeah. And you end up on the roof real quick. Yeah, I'd say. <coughs> All right, I'm right on top of you now. Yep. We're speeding up. Great. Weird white thing. that main a little bit but that, that's holding better than normal yeah it has gone down throughout the dive but it's still at whatever four Save. <laughs> I hate it, man. Con constantly getting spammed by people. We can develop your website. We can do this. We can build you an app. We can. Nice. I don't get offers like that. I feel Eat like I'm missing shorts. out. Eat my shorts. Bridge nav. Can we have another 100 meters 150? Thank you.
What do these guys do? You know, that's a really good question. It's got to be headsetty, comsy. I think it's related to the inter. There's a lot of equipment here, and I have a uh, basic understanding of some of it. Roger. <laughs> <laughs> we went over all of it on uh, the transit over, just a brief overview, and sure. some of it, some of it is faded. Totally, yeah. If you don't need it every single day, then you're not going to keep it. Exactly. Yeah, I get that. I knew at one point. Hey, AJ. Hey. Are we transecting from C to A? No, we're going to just boogie from C to A as okay. fast as we're able to. Cool. Boogie. Right. And then boogie. we're going to just cut that, we're going to cut that mooring and surface. Awesome. Sounds good. Thank you. I don't know what these guys are. This looks like a drawer. Or a yeah, door. That, that's a spare slot in the rack, I believe. Oh, yeah. I don't know this one or this one or those ones. That's a second um, audio oh, monitor. Oh, okay. I'm not Bridge entirely now? sure what it's. I think it's, it's spare. Just a, I think it's just a backup. Can we have another 100150? Thank you. Ed's explained these ones to me. I don't. I don't get it. That again falls in the. We went over it in a, a pretty uh, brief overview, and some of it's again faded in the past couple weeks. Yeah, Roger. A lot of stuff going on. Yeah, that's <coughs> for sure. It's extensive. Is he awake? Mm-hmm. Oh, good for him. <laughs> yeah. You want out? Nah. sticks for 12 hours. People don't, I don't know, you've probably done it yourself. No, going for a leak, but I've had, like, been at a point where I've had.
Yeah. Bridge nav. Can we have six zero one five zero? Thank you. Is that the last one? Yeah. Roger.
140 meters. Mm -hmm. 6.30 at the latest. <laughs> Yeah, so much for the approximately one hour note I had on the um, opportunistic benthic video survey. Oh, was that? <laughs> to transit a knot, yeah. Fair enough. It's all good, Steph. Then. Why is Raina up right now? Uh, Raina, go to bed. Um, I think it's about 500 meters. Yep. Yeah. 